Can you save France with just an air force? That's what I'm going to be attempting to do today. Where's the bloody air force? What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. We're back on Hearts of Iron 4. And that's right, I figured I'd kick off my return with a little bit of a challenge. Using just an air force, as you can see here, look at that, there's a plane over there. And a plane over there. I'm going to see if I can save France uh, without sending any of the BEF over to the mainland of Europe. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and develop a magnificent RAF as the United Kingdom and see how many uh, planes I can actually field and start to pump out before uh, World War II begins and, and Germany begins its invasion and see if we can somehow hold through a little bit of guile and um, uh, probably lots of bombing. And just so you can see, let's do the old Iron Mode and Iron Mode, Iron Man and Historical. So let's try and get, I don't know, 3,000 likes for a, for a positive return to the channel. I've been away for a few weeks. I was visiting family in the UK and as soon as I got back to Canada, I was struck down with the COVID, of which you can probably still tell I'm... I'm I'm not 100% yet, but I think I'm well enough to potentially win a scenario. <laughs> and why not let me know in the comments below, is it going to be a win or a classic Rambler fail? I haven't played the game for weeks, so let's jump in. So the UK tree is, is, is pretty large, and I really want to try and go down the rearmament places as so focuses as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and do limited rearmament to begin with. Let's pump up the severe count. I'm not going to focus on large airframes because the production cost is probably going to be too high for what I need to achieve early on. But I will do survivability studies in addition to the regular kind of basic machine tools and construction etc that we need to do. Uh, as soon as possible. In terms of the army, it's not really something I'm going to focus on much, uh, if at all, because I can't really use them. One of the rules for this is that I'm I'm not sending any army over to the mainland of France. If France falls, that's it. That's the scenario failed. So it might make sense to end up lend-leasing them, but of course we can't actually do that to begin with. So let's just hope France can actually sort themselves out for a little bit. But we do already start off with almost like a thousand aircraft, so that's not a terrible amount to begin with. And as you can see, I am trying to just um, pump up those numbers a little bit. Even though these are just very outdated, we might as well keep the production efficiency and start building the production efficiency of the close air support. If you're wondering why I'm doing this challenge, I don't think it's one that I've done before. And I figured it's an easy one for me to do while I'm still uh, on the mend. And it'll be fun. I wouldn't really do this scenario if I didn't think it would be fun. Okay, steady as she goes. And... We can't afford... Hmm, we need a... Oh, no, we can now. Okay, so Air Reformer. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... Cyril? Ooh, yeah, more air bases. Not that it's really going to have any bearing on the air bases we can actually send over to France, but global defence, here we are. Every man will do his duty, of course, and that will remove uh, the war to end all wars, which will increase the population that we can recruit from. I think the first thing I want to improve is the Blenheim such as some radio navigation, self-sealing fuel tanks, and why don't we add in a defense turret as well? Some light MG maybe, or some, yeah, 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 let's do that. Max speed is still 450 kilometers an hour. I'm happy with this. Weight exceeds thrust, well, never mind then. And I've just designed a couple of 1936 aircraft to be kind of more updated with what we want. So that's gonna take a while to increase the production efficiency, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I will not lift the restrictions of Bulgaria. And they're just offering empty promises. Hmm. Gonna go against the grain and actually design a medium aircraft. Uh, have a medium aircraft designer to increase the reliability of our tactical bombers by 20%. Which is uh, gonna be nice because I'm gonna be focusing on bombers quite a lot. We could go for centralised control maybe. Which increases the fighter defection. Sorry. Fighter detection and air mission efficiency. Go on then. Oh, goodbye Baldwin. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, general rearmament. Lovely. Lovely jabbly. I've also gone ahead and got myself some air crew surveys. In a little bit, I'll probably need to transition to military factories in order to get the air power that I need. Uh, France. Yes, join the Allies. Come with me and we'll see if planes will save your ass today. Air rearmament. You're goddamn right. <laughs> 
but they have between eight and ten factories on planes, and I only have... Oh, I've got 14. It's not atrocious, but it, it could be much better. Sorry, Yugoslavia. I'm not giving you anything. No. I'm not selling you a single plane. I need it. My own. Fighter command, definitely. Yeah. We must control our own skies. I'm also um, not going to invest in Greece here. <laughs> no. Okay, improve small airframe. Here we go. Air production group. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I, I would like that. Let's do a motion of no confidence. Okay, here we go. So Winston Churchill's in charge. Bring me whiskey. And then we go no further appeasement. Hmm. Or bomber command. I like the reduction of the cost for an air doctrine, but I also like industrial effort and royal ordnance factories. Yeah, I'll do that first. Doctrines we can do just before World War II kicks off. I need to get factories. And I need them now. Ding, ding, ding. Six military factories for 70 days. Oh, I'm loving it. Um, loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> I don't know that this is going to go particularly well, but we're, we'll do our best. I always say that, don't I? And then it never goes as bad as we think it might go. Right? Uh, the checks are on their own. Goodbye. Having Malaya as a puppet is fantastic for production because uh, you get one factory for 70 aluminium and you also get 80 rubber for one factory too. It's, 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 it's lovely. I think my economy's okay. Uh, let's compare to the... Germans in terms of aircraft. What are they producing now? Uh, still only between 8 and 10. Meanwhile, I've got 38. So we should have command of the skies. It's a big should. Running out of access to aluminium very quickly. So I guess I'll have to buff up France with a few more factories. We're going to have some Spitfires in production now. Although that's completely ruined my production efficiency. It'll be worth it though. I hope. It's only got between 10 and 14 on planes. Between 1.2 and 2,000, and I've got 3,000 planes. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling hopeful that I'll at least have aerial superiority. But ooh, yo, 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 in terms of everything else, I am not too confident. So uh, I'm not sure what you'll think of my plane designs. I know they're not the best. Uh, this is currently the CAS one. Uh, this is the Spitfire, again, very basic, but I'm I'm trying to pump them out. And then we also have the Wellingtons. Um, which... The, uh, oh. <laughs> I... Oh, luckily, luckily that wasn't the, the main one. I... Oh my gosh. If I'd have actually ruined my production efficiency on my main cast, that would have been awful. Awful. The range of our fighters could be better. Uh, I am going to send the fighters over so I can actually uh, get some air power over Germany and start kind of bombing their infrastructure before they even invade. <laughs> Just going to bomb their infrastructure and supply hubs. And I think with the CAS we can also do that too. Some of them have the range to do log logistic strikes, so I'll, I'll keep on doing that. And we're getting pretty far down the battlefield support tree without actually doing any sort of war, so I'm kind of happy with how that's been going. And now we'll do the aircraft production group. You'll note I haven't really sent anything against Italy. I feel like France should be able to hold that southern flank. Should is the key word there. We have radar in France. I also uh, I haven't I haven't built in France at all. I'm kind of just leaving them to do their own thing. I'm going to do generic research now, and I will build additional air bases in France so we don't have to worry. Oh yes, 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 yes. Factories will fuel our war machine. Thank you, Switzerland. Always love a deal. Jet aircraft. Oh, go on then. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if we actually do get some jet aircraft going. And it kicks off. Oh, I should have guaranteed them, shouldn't I? I forgot about that. Yeah, they're, they're manually justifying on Belgium. So that gives me a bit more... T balls. Um... <laughs> Classic. Um, uh, somehow Churchill sort of forgot about guaranteeing Poland. That's the bad writing we're going for there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Poland's, Poland's gone. Germany is ramping up their production of planes, but I've got 70 factories on planes. Uh, I wish France had more on other stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, I'm tempted to send the BEF in now, but nope. The rules are the rules, and the facts are the facts, and France isn't competent. And nothing I can do about that. 
I feel like the UK is actually a bit of a beast. You can really do some decent stuff as the UK, uh, depending on what you want to focus on. Why the... What? What? No, me, mm, hmm. Okay. Invite to faction. We shall. Accept. Call in. Then we slow down to free speed so we can witness our downfall in uh, real time. <laughs> uh, Italy's gone in right away. That's less than um, optimal. We're trading okay, I think. And we're bombing. Trade isn't as healthy as I would have wanted. Huh? Oh my god. Uh, this whole plan, maybe I should have made sure I had some uh, additional help. But it looks like they're getting... Uh, the Belgians are getting decent defence. I think it's probably because of the amount of air force we have. But it's all going to be pointless if the... I, it, this is awful. I'm so sad that my plans are going to fail because the... God damn it. France has nothing. Uh, I, I should have done this when I have a friend. And I'm just astounded that uh, all I've done is... Oh my god. I'm only doing 2.4 damage. What? Please stop. And the French need to stop counter-attacking. Please. I'm going to start just trying to bomb everything. But I believe it's all going to be for naught. Uh, and it's not my fault. Blame France. My planes are absolutely fine. Does France, I wonder, does France have... Oh, come on now. It's it's the middle of March 40 and you still got disjointed government. What absolute horseman you're. But in terms of... Uh, what? There we go. Maintain control of the skies and we may do okay. Increase ground support another 20%. I'm surprised it's working. Sort of. Air superiority, extra 20%. Lovely jubbly. Promoting some ace pilots here. Wow. Over here with dealing some, uh, I think we're dealing alright bombing damage. And then we'll start doing the uh, strategic bombing here. <sighs> ah! No! No, 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 no! No, stop being too weak! Hold, France. Hold. Do you need stuff? I will send you 1,000 artillery pieces. I can also send you 800 light tanks. Although, that's all just going to be pointless if they just capitulate straight away, isn't it? I'll send you a hundred trucks as well. Is it cheating if I put Canadian troops in the mainland of France? I'm going to go with no. It's a happy coincidence that they would suddenly get there just in time to save... <laughs> to save France. If they get there. And that's a big if. Send in more fighters, please. Oh, that's not... Oof. Despite doing as many buffs as I can... Wait, is that a Belgium division? That counts. Send the Belgians back over. Oh, it's all starting to collapse. It's going to start bombing their logistics hubs in France to try and give them a bit more time to, to hold... Oh, I'm out of fuel! Oh, crap. That was probably why I wasn't getting aerial superiority. <laughs> Enemy logistics bombed in northern France. That's nice. Oh, crap. Would you please keep holding, you sons of the guns? The Canadians are arriving! <laughs> yes, the BEF can't enter, but the, uh... South African... The South Africans can get there. Have we got any from New Zealand? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> I know, I know everyone, this is a little bit cheeky, but come on. I can't... It's... The AI's fault. Hmm. Yes, the bombers are failing. We're losing so much to anti-air. I don't know that we're going to get enough troops in before France capitulates because they've decided in their infinite wisdom not to get rid of disjointed government. Which, you know, it makes a lot of sense as France not to do that. I'm reverting all planes to northern France. Like, they're taking a lot of... A heck of a beating here. Do I have any other Commonwealth fodder I can just send in to try and hold? Hold! Foul beasts back to the abyss. Are they coming in? Oh my god. Will the Canadians actually get there quick enough to save the day? We're actually almost at Paris. Where are the French troops? Why? Should fucking go for them? Ah! Like it's pain. It's absolute pure pain. Hold Paris, man. 
they're under attack. Uh, uh, stop pushing them back. It's so frustrating because they don't even have, like, supply, really. How many days do you have strength and government for? We're dead. And they've only taken 260... That's sad. Maybe I could have used the BEF. Am I going to be a rule breaker? Yes. I just feel good about this strategy, you know? I haven't actually changed my division templates in any way. So, what we can agree here is that this scenario would have been a failure if I'd have just left it to front. Well, it doesn't even fuck. Bruh. <laughs> uh, they lasted till May 1940. Damn. And I think I lost a majority of my planes trying to hold against Germany there too. So I've still got 71 on planes. They only had 30, yet I was still contesting with them the entire time. Huh. I'm sure if the French AI wasn't so incompetent, we'd have had a better chance. I don't know, maybe you can give me your ideas on a different strategy on how to play that. Because I wanted to do it without sending any troops to mainland France whatsoever. In the end, I decided to try and send the Commonwealth too late. But I feel like, eh, that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. I figured I'd have a better chance of like bombing them all over here and, and really affecting the amount of logistics that they'd be able to have. But I think I made a mistake not guaranteeing Poland. I kind of forgot to do that. I thought it was automatic. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoy this little video. This is just a taste of what's to come for the rest of the year. It's going to be consistent content. Whether they are successes or rambler fails, it's all going to be a really good time. So please do comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back very soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to the Patreon cult leaders, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Dr. Fotska and Jack Troku. And many thanks to the Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Hegu Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you.